That's basically how simple it is, guys. You just want to, you know, just want to use the chroma key. And if this went by too fast, guys. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to a new uh, OBS tutorial. It's the last tutorial of today, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use a green screen, as you can see at the back, because I'm going to make up for today. Because yesterday I, I didn't upload like two videos because I had so many freaking, you know, problems with the software, and I, I just couldn't upload two videos. So today, today I'm going to make up for it, and I have two angles, as you guys can see. One is the webcam, and the other one is the Canon 600D. So I can switch between angles while I'm setting the green screen up. So first of all, how this video is going to work is I'm just going to uh, set up the green screen. I'm just going to make a little time lapse. I'm just going to you know set my green screen like where it's like really good. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to use the proper lighting, how to make yourself you know completely uh, transparent, and you can go ahead and record. So I'm going to turn some music on so it's not boring for you for you guys to watch. So I'll catch you guys like in a few minutes when everything is set up. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, and guys, um, I'm just gonna do it my way because I actually have to squeeze this green screen uh, behind my closet, my dresser, and my freaking, you know, table uh, where my TV stands on and the printer and stuff. So don't judge me, this is just a tiny ass fucking room. I don't have any, like, I gotta be creative, so I just gotta squeeze in between my dresser uh, or my closet and this table. So don't judge me, it works, so why not? That looks pretty good so far, but uh, I'm just gonna, you know, look, work on the edges a bit, like... Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, as you guys can see, the green screen is now fully behind me, and there are some, you know, as you can see, there are some wrinkles, but that's not a problem for my recording program or Sony Vegas program. That looks pretty good, guys, so I'm gonna, tur I'm gonna shut off that camera, because actually you saw how it works, how to set it up. So basically, you just wanna make sure, that make sure you have, like, a really good degree, that's actually key. Okay, and now I'm gonna mess a little bit with the lighting, because I see that's actually a little bit dark, though. That look that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go to OBS right now, and I'm just gonna add in my face cam and everything, and I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the background and stuff. So I would say, let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, of course, you can see me without the background. I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, do that so I'm just gonna disable my cam for a second this one boom and now I'm just gonna create uh, I'm gonna do preview stream I just create a new scene you can call that whatever you want then what you want to do is you're gonna right click you want to add and I'm just gonna add a white image so you guys can see the background you can add your gameplay or whatever so I'm just gonna add an image okay guys as you can see I have a white background the next thing you want to do to make your green screen work is you want to click on add Video capture device, boom, give this a name or you can just leave it. You want to pick your webcam, click on OK. As you can see, there is me. And what you want to do is you want to also make sure that your green screen is like lighted enough. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the settings, double click on it. And what you want to do is you want to click on use chroma key. And then basically, as you can see, um, it's going to be really weird because it's white. But you will click on select. And you want to click on like a really nice green part like this, boom. And as you guys can see, it's really weird, it looks like pretty weird, but those are just the wrong settings. So basically, the first thing is, you can see at the right, you want to mess with those three. So let's go with the first one until the first one is already. So I'm just going to go up until it's actually going pretty good. So as you guys can see, the background is already uh, going you know, like going away. It's really white, but this is like too, this is too much. So I'm just going to go down a bit, down, down, down. Like this, maybe like more like my chair. And as you guys can see, this is me, and I have no background. So you want to just use the color key, mess around with the similarity. That means actually like how similar the colors are to each other. Then the blend, you want to go also go up and down. I'm just gonna go up for the first you know second. So 
as you guys can see, this is this does a really not good job. So I'm just gonna go down until it's until it's you know completely fine. As you can see, the edges are starting to appear. So I'm just gonna go back up until everything is perfect. Okay, this is too much. As you guys can see, this is looking weird. So I'm just gonna go down again until everything is looking good. This looks pretty good. This looks great actually. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think this is perfect. That looks really great. And then you know this one, I'm just gonna mess around with this one until I'm happy with that. But I don't think you need to change a lot of that because this is actually like kind of like make a really weird color. So I would say like this is perfect, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna click on OK, and as you guys can see, the background is just completely removed, guys. Um, as you guys can see right there, like this little point, this one, is really weird. But if you have like a green screen, that's not that's like until here. Like let's say if you have a green screen until this. What you want, you can do, you can cut yourself out. So what you want to do is you want to click on Edit Scene, this. Then you want to hold Control and Alt, and you want to pick your face cam, and you want to cut that edge away until you see the green line. So you actually will see all of that. So you can actually cut yourself out as well as so hold Control and Alt. Uh, and just drag it and as you guys can see you can go around outside of that and basically you can cut away all the you know the other things and i'm just gonna remove this image this boom and as you guys can see i have a black freaking background and you can got you can make this smaller as you guys can see because now it doesn't look like i'm cut out but it does right now you can choose whatever you want to do with it and then you can just you know i'll show you guys click on add monitor capture boom yes and as you guys can see I'm just gonna put my face cam, you know, above it. There is me, guys. There is me without the background, and you can move it around wherever you want, and you can put it, and you can put it wherever you want. That's basically how simple it is, guys. You just wanna, you know, just wanna use the chroma key. And if this went by too fast, guys, please. Oh, this is this. <laughs> this looks really weird. That's how simple it is, guys. You can just, as you guys can see, um, as it stops like right here. But if I wanna just, you know, do it back, I can just go further. Uh, on also on this side boom and now I'm actually completely cut out and guys make sure if you're in front of your green screen don't wear something green like I asked I actually I actually recorded something with like with like a cap where this part was green and I can just look through it make sure you have like always something uh, like red or blue or black or gray or something else completely different than, than green so it because it cuts out all the green and it's going to cut out everything from your shirt and, and everything so if you have like, if you have like a blue screen you can use green uh, clothing it works the same so that's what it is it is guys if this went by too fast make sure to rewind the video pause it because this is actually really really simple guys and uh, that's it for this video guys i want to thank you guys for watching and um yeah that's it that's some of this guys so basically i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support and i will see you guys tomorrow for two zone of vegas tutorials and thursday uh for two reacting to my video from views from subscribers thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed these videos because uh, yesterday i couldn't upload two tutorials because yesterday was a really sad and hectic and boring and and, and annoying day because the, the recordings went wrong and all of all that kind of stuff so thank you guys for the continued support and thank you for sticking up with me because i received so many comments from people are saying like dude it's fine and um thank you guys this is like i couldn't appreciate it more i'll see you guys for two cinematic tutorials tomorrow at 3 30 and 5 30 p.m pst so thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers my name's ldhh official as yeah. always yeah and i upload one video every day of the week except on saturday and sunday i'm just gonna start streaming live first question for today Ooh. so that's gonna be through this hall it's gonna be pretty dark so we have the door future your calendar your question and i'll see you guys in the next video